Hi, today we're going to be talking about a couple different ways to practice without pedals to improve your double bass drum technique. So the way this is going to work is you just need a chair or a drum throne and a hard surface and literally no other equipment. This is a good way to practice if you don't have pedals available or if you don't have drums, but it's also a great way to practice when you do have drums available because it augments your regular on drum practicing with a little bit of a workout that you can't quite get on the pedals. It's going to improve your strength in your shin muscles especially, which is the weakest muscle in your leg probably. You're going to practice the coordination that you're going to need to play double bass and you're going to practice uh, getting a lot of stamina because you won't have springs pushing your foot back up. You'll have to work a lot harder. Uh, it'll also keep you really honest about how even you are because there's nothing else going on. It's just you and a tapping sound. You can really keep track of how fast and how accurately you're playing. So we'll go through three ways to do it. The first way is to play heel down. You want to play nice and loud. You want to get a big motion and you want to play obviously evenly. So here's an example of the heel down pedalless practice technique. You want to make sure you're getting a nice large stroke and that you're playing loudly and of course keeping it even. The next thing to do is you want to do heel up but you want to leave your toes on the floor. Just bouncing your feet off the floor like you're jogging in place is not that accurate to what's going on when you really play double bass on the drums so we don't want to do that on the floor either. We want to keep our toes in contact with the floor which is much more similar to the motion you'll do when you actually play the drums. You're going to keep your toes on the floor and you're going to play with your heels so your knees are going to be moving up and down and you're going to try to play a loud large beat in a similar fashion. Next thing you want to do is the floating motion which means you're going to lift your feet off the floor but only play with the ankle not moving the whole leg up and down. That one's pretty weird. It takes a little bit of core strength to hold that position, but that one's going to get you to play faster and more evenly uh, when you get back to the drums at those really high speeds, um, floating technique, swivel technique. It's going to be good for that kind of stuff. So you're going to lift your feet off the floor slightly. You're going to tap with your toes. You're not going to move your legs up and down. Just move from the ankle. Now, you want to make sure you're playing uh, audibly. If you do this really tiny, it doesn't help you. You have to move your feet around quite a bit, and it will burn after a second, so you might want to stretch out before and after. But it's a really great way to warm up, even for your regular double bass playing. On another unrelated note, check out uh, the blackpage.net. It's an online drum magazine. They're going to be featuring a few of my lessons in uh, hopefully the near future. So. You want to look for those, and just in general, it's a pretty cool website, so check it out, blackpage.net.